Hi, my name is Mitesh Sureja. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how we can perform a file related operation using simple SSIS package. So for that, you must have installed uh, SSIS services in your machine. After that, you can start Visual Studio 2008. You can open the file new project. You can select the integration services project. You can write the project name over here and the solution name and say OK. So I have already done this exercise. So this will open with the default package called package DTX. So every package has an extension DTX. So you can mention. So you can uh, have control for related items in the toolbox. From that we're going to select a file system task. You can select either either double click or you can drag and drop that particular item to the control for tab. So this will appear over here. So every item has its own properties. So you can specify using double click. On that item so this will open editor window system task editor window here you can specify the number of operation you can perform using that particular task so here you can say the copy directory copy file create directory delete directory delete file move directory rename file attribute set etc so in this demo i'm going to perform the copy related task so how you can copy that from one location to another location uh, for that you need to specify the destination and source so here is the option like you can specify the destination connection and the destination path if you want to use the destination path variable you can say the yes so you need to specify which path variable you're going to use so and another option is override destination so this will override the file or folder if already exists so this is related to the destination and the source so if you're going to use source path from the variable you can say yes otherwise you can spe like specify the connection source connection so here i'm going to specify that existing file so i'm going to copy this currency list file so here it uh, has a multiple currency uh, so i'm going to copy this file from temp ssis folder to backup folder so backup folder is right now empty so i'm going to specify the path for the source path is existing file and file location is like ssis currency list so I'm going to select that file. Okay. So this is the currency list source connection, and as a destination, I'm going to select another create file option. So in the destination, I do not have any file available. So this will create a new file for me, and uh, I would like to see the file name as a D colon temp. The location is backup, and I I would like to see the file name is uh, SSIS copy file the file name will be exercise copy file txt so this is uh, done with this perfectly this uh, task so to debug or execute this task can you can click over here to start debugging so when you say the start debug it will execute the package and your package becomes green so here you can see the progress so progress window will uh, display that uh, the process of that particular uh, package execution so it will also say the time how much time it will took so now let's say whether the file has been copied or not yeah so um, this is the source file and th this is the backup destination folder so I have copied that all the file with this folder. Okay, now the stop. So after stopping, that execution will be saved. So the last execution result will always be visible over here once you execute the project. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.